The 24 Hours of the Passion Preparation Before Each Hour O my Lord Jesus Christ, prostrate in your divine presence, I implore your most loving heart to admit me to the sorrowful meditation of the 24 hours in which for love of us you wanted to suffer so much, in your adorable body and in your most holy soul unto death on the cross. O oh, please, give me help, grace, love, deep compassion and understanding of your sufferings, as I now meditate the tenth hour. And for those which I cannot meditate, I offer you my will to meditate on them, and I willingly intend to meditate on them in all the hours in which I have to apply myself to my duties, or to sleep. Accept, O oh merciful Lord, my loving intention, and let it be beneficial for me and for all, as if I effectively and in a saintly way accomplished what I wish to practice. Meanwhile, I give you thanks, O my Jesus, for calling me to union with you by means of prayer. And to please you more, I take your thoughts, your tongue, your heart, and with this I intend to pray, fusing all of myself in your will and in your love, and stretching out my arms to hug you, I place my head on your heart, and I begin. Tenth Hour from 2 to 3 a.m. Jesus is presented to Annas Jesus. Be always with me. Sweet Mama, let us follow Jesus together. My Jesus, divine sentry, watching over me in your heart and not wanting to remain alone without me, you wake me up and let me be present with you in the house of Annas. You are now at the moment in which Annas questions you about your doctrine and your disciples. And you, O oh Jesus, in order to defend the glory of the Father, open your most sacred mouth and with sonorous and dignified voice answer. I have spoken in public, and all those here present have heard me. At your dignified accents all feel trembling, but their perfidy is such that a servant, wanting to honor Annas, comes close to you and with a fierce hand gives you a slap, but so violent as to make you stagger and to bruise your most holy face. Now I understand, my sweet life, why you woke me up. You were right. Who would sustain you at this moment, as you are about to fall? Your enemies burst into satanic laughter, whistling and clapping, applauding an act so unjust, and you, staggering, have no one to lean on. My Jesus, I hug you, even more I want to form a wall with my being, and I offer you my cheek with courage, ready to bear any suffering for love of you. I compassionate you for this outrage, and together with you I repair for the fearfulness of many souls, who get easily discouraged. I repair for all those who out of fear do not speak the truth, for the lack of respect due to priests, and for murmuring. But my afflicted Jesus, I see that Anna sends you to Caiaphas. Your enemies hurl you down the stairs, and you, my love, in this painful fall repair for those who at nighttime fall into sin under the cover of darkness. And you call the heretics and the unbelievers to the light of faith. I too want to follow you in these reparations, and on the way to Caiaphas, I send you my sighs in order to defend you from your enemies. And while I sleep, continue to be my sentry, and wake me up whenever you need to. Give me your kiss and your blessing, and I kiss your heart, and in it I continue my sleep. Thanksgiving after each hour. My lovable Jesus, you have called me in this hour of your passion to keep you company. And I have come. I seemed to hear you praying, repairing and suffering, in anguish and sorrow, pleading for the salvation of souls in the most touching and eloquent voices. I tried to follow you in everything, and now, having to leave you for my usual occupations, I feel the duty to say to you, thank you, and I bless you. Yes, O oh Jesus, I repeat to you, thank you, thousands and thousands of times, and I bless you, for all that you have done and suffered for me and for all. I thank you and I bless you for every drop of blood you shed, for every breath, for every heartbeat, for every step, word, glance, bitterness and offense which you endured. In everything, O oh my Jesus, I intend to seal you with a thank you and an I bless you. Please, O oh Jesus, let my whole being send you a continuous flow of thanks and blessings, so as to draw upon me and upon everyone the flow of your blessings and thanks. O oh please, O oh Jesus, press me to your heart and with your most holy hand seal every particle of my being with your I bless you, so that nothing other than a continuous hymn to you may come from me.